guys merry christmas from me to you and welcome to Kessie's cuisine where we satisfy your food cravings with easy and amazing recipes now for this christmas i am going to be sharing with you guys my menu or some of the things that we put together that i think can be a good christmas menu okay most of the items that i'm going to be posting are already on my videos are already on my channel sorry most things i'm going to talk about are already on my channel so i'll put them in the description box where you can just check on it but whatever is not on this menu I'm going to be posting it maybe like two to three days um, after or before I post this video. I'm not really sure about that. But let's just dive into this Christmas menu. Okay, what I think can be a good Christmas menu or what I have put together that I think could be a, can be a good Christmas menu. I actually wrote them down. What I'll be making for Christmas this year. I will be making jollof suya rice. Now, okay, okay, okay. Chill out. I know it sounds but let's do something different for christmas okay not every christmas is fried rice or jello fries or in my house every christmas not every christmas but once it's christmas we are almost sure to eat jamaican sauce so i want to just spice it up a little so we will do jello suya rice for this christmas menu we are going to be grilling chicken and baked potatoes uh we are also going to be making some scotch egg we are going to be making chin chin and we are going to be making zobo but i'm not really sure if you can't do that please just keep but everything i said on this menu is on my um on my channel okay you can also make cottage pie cottage pie recipe is also on my channel i'll leave a link in the description box but for this um christmas menu what i'm going to be um showing you guys step by step in this video is the jello suya rice okay for chin chin i'm going to be posting chin chin recipe after this after this video so please do well to check on it but i will show you the setting of my table when i'm done and let's just get right into it tell me if you guys will use this recipe like i said jello suya rice um grilled chicken and baked potatoes we're also going to be making chin chin scotch egg and uh, zobo this is a good christmas menu you can take the rice in the afternoon you can take the baked potato in the morning with something by the side with a little bit of chicken by the side the chin chin is just for everybody when there is guests just for them to be munchies at home so okay without further ado let's just get back into the video let's just get right into the okay to start off things i'm going to be spicing my potato and my grilled chicken my potato dressing was actually very easy as you can see potatoes carrots some sweet pepper some spice and granite oil this was my chicken marinade i added in some spice some barbecue sauce um some spring onions some pepper habanero onions granite oil you can use whatever spice selection that you prefer there was ginger there was garlic i'm going to blend all this together and it's going to give me a very beautiful marinade this was what my marinade looked like and yeah absolutely fabulous now my chicken is a native chicken means that it's not so fleshy it doesn't have a lot of flesh as the normal chicken will be and i love this chicken because when i'm done with it oh my god like you know those nigerian chicken vibe that's the one that you'll be dragging that's how this chicken feels so i love it so much so this is what i always use i'm going to be marinating this overnight but if you don't have the time you can always marinate for two hours to one hour i'll be adding in my butter to add in some flavor and i'm going to just keep this until it is fully marinated i did my overnight to prepare suya you just want to cut your beef into tiny strips this is for my suya jello fries <laughs> so i cut my beef into tiny strips and i spiced it with some seasoning cubes some garlic powder some suya pepper some um, ginger powder and i'm going to be adding more suya pepper because hmm, this is suya jello fries come on now when you are grilling your suya do you know the residue that comes out of your suya when you put it in the oven or the residues that comes out from your meat when you put the oven that water is very important because that's what is going to be like your your meat broth for your suya jollof do you get because you know you are not boiling your meat so you need if you like because you need something like for your broth it's not like okay it's not really important but i highly recommend 
but I highly recommend that you keep that residue that comes out from your soya grill okay now it is time for me to start my jollof rice proper now this jollof rice is just regular jollof rice actually this is flavored oil so if you want to know how to get flavored oil you can always leave it um, comment and I'll leave it in the description box this is my soya pepper and this was my soya when I was done grilling you can decide to grill more but that was perfect for me this is my tomato mix and this contains sweet pepper habaneros um, tatashi onions so I'm going to start by putting in my onion into my hot oil I'm going to add in my um, I'm going to add in my tomato and then this is my pepper mix that I added um, after it has fried for some minutes i'm adding my soya pepper now you are going you want to add soya pepper as your heart desires okay this is a regular jollof rice but just that you're adding soya pepper do you get the vibe so i added more soya pepper <laughs> i added bay leaves i wanted it to be really soya pepper like i'll be soya jollof rice anyway this is me adding more um soya pepper and i'll stir that generously until my um mix was cooked properly but for me this was mine because i have added my um suya broth at this point you want to add your jollof rice if you want to know how to make the perfect jollof rice please check the description box i have a tutorial on how to do that anyway i'm going to allow this cook remember you don't cook jollof rice on so much water jollof rice cooks with the heat I'm going to allow this cook for the meantime while I cut my suya into little bits. Okay, I'm going to cut my suya into like very tiny bits. You can decide to cut it however you prefer, but for me, this is what I prefer. If you cut your suya like this and you feel like, oh, I'm not supposed to see any of this red part, like you just want everything to just be black, black like suya, you can definitely pop it back into the oven. But for me this was very perfect when my rice was cooked i added in my chopped suya into my jello fries and oh my god i tell you like this is fantastic the jello fries was bomb so i stirred that all together my jello fries was ready at this point i was tasting and yeah it was it came out perfect okay now this is what my table presentation looks like this was what the jello fries looks like merry 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 christmas guys this is the um grilled potato i told you it's not too much drama this is just the way i prefer it um the chin chin you can always check my description box there's a tutorial for it and um yeah this is what it looks like merry christmas guys and i will see you next in my next video bye